Hey friends, me Jenny here and I'm really excited to share with you this game I made called Blue Balls. It's basically set in a 3D low poly world that I modeled myself while streaming live on Twitch. So I'm just going to press play and show you what it's all about. Starts outdoors here with a beautiful starry night ahead above. <laughs> But the real action starts when you enter Jenny's Exotic Live Adult Entertainment. Got the red carpet. As soon as you walk through the door, the timer starts. And you have to get as many pumpkins as you can before the time is up. Basically, this club here I started to make so that um, it could be an asset package for anyone to use in their own creations. But I eventually wanted to do something with it myself. So this curtain is pretty cool. It's a uh, cloth physics that I learned how to use. And the game was developed entirely here in Unity while I did the modeling in 3D Max. This stage right here is optional. Um, doesn't have to be a strip club, but this, this particular game has a stage with a pole. So I thought that was pretty funny. We even got these chibi girls to walk up on stage. Oh, those two. Sometimes they'll walk into each other, but they don't want to get too close to us, the first person controllers, so I'm learning how to do C-sharp programming, so writing the scripts is kind of new for me. So we actually program these girls to wander around aimlessly and then to avoid walking too close to me, uh, sometimes they do get too close to each other. So. <laughs> So yeah, the club here, we got an entire bar that I made. We can actually walk over here behind the bar and check out all these different bottles that I made from scratch. We got these are supposed to be wine bottles. These are supposed to be whiskey, uh, champagne on the bottom. Then we got little glasses here, martini glasses and stuff. Hooyah! So yeah. You can actually hop up onto the stage yourself, but don't try this in a real strip club because it'll probably get you kicked out. Haven't even gotten to the bathroom yet. Oh no, we're gonna have to try harder, friends. I made that little sound effect there for the end screen. And I learned how to do these cute little buttons here where you can check the credits. And uh, these are clickable links that take you to my site. My site. Martian Games, who's the one that taught me how to 3D model and do Unity. And then this is the musician who I found on Newgrounds. Ironically, uh, his song is called Blue Balls, and I was originally checking to see if anyone else had used that name for a game. But it turns out that there was only just a song that was named Blue Balls. But it was funny because the musician in his description said specifically that it sounded like if Sonic made a porno, and I was looking for some cheesy porno music to go with this game. Alright, so you can see that cool um, light effect on the blue ball. It's kind of like a cool effect that you can see on the walls. Sorry, let's time, this time let's try to actually get it. Um, get all the pumpkins so you can see what happens when you win. Uh, once in a while the curtain gets a little funny, so don't mind that. <laughs> I'm still just learning. This is actually the first game that I made almost entirely by myself. In the past, I've gotten to submit some game assets or voice acting for other people's games. But yeah, so this one, uh, I did all the art, except for the pumpkins. Those I got from the Unity Asset Store. And the song, I didn't do that part, but everything else I did myself. While I was streaming on Twitch, putting this project together, um, two different people helped me with my code. So shout out to the two guys that helped me. <laughs> uh, yeah, on separate occasions I had, I needed some help and like my partner Martian was busy so there were some friends on Twitch that were helping me. Oh yeah, so here's the bathroom, friends. Uh, I thought that this was really cool over here because uh, I learned how to do reflection probes. So this is supposed to be a mirror but it doesn't have our reflection because we don't actually have a body attached to the camera here. <laughs> But reflection probes basically take like a 360 photo of the environment that's around it and then it'll do the reflection on metallic surfaces like these doors and these toilets. 
These toilets are way shinier than necessary, but I thought they looked too cool not to include. <laughs> They're super shiny and like chrome. Chromatic toilets. Oh no, okay, hold on. Where's the ones that we missed? Ah! <laughs> oh god, okay, we might have to play a third time. All right, I don't know where those last three pumpkins were that we missed, but we'll speed run it, run it this time. <laughs> Yay! Alright friends, well hopefully if anyone happens to see this video or notice these games online that you will find the inspiration to play them and if you do then to leave a comment with some constructive feedback. Of course any developer's dream is to have people play their game but also for me I like to learn and if you see any ways that I can improve this game or uh, ideas for the future of this game or others then let me know. This, like, I only put together in the last month or so, like three or four weeks to make this, so... Um, actually, I hadn't even decided that I was going to release it as anything until just a couple days ago. So the scripting and stuff... Uh, pretty much um, made all within the last couple days. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Almost, only five more pumpkins. We won! <laughs> Yay! Well, that's pretty much it, friends. We made the the end screens. We got the immersive experience of going through a 3D strip club. I get to actually share with you some of my 3D models, and hopefully, some someday, like maybe a Let's Player will decide to play it on their channel, not just me. But good thing I'm both an aspiring game developer and a Let's Player, so... Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Also, I guess I'll show you the sites where you can play it. Uh, Blue Balls. You can find it on Game Jolt, which is one of my favorite sites. Both Game Jolt and itch.io, you can suggest, like, a donation. So I was amazed when I saw that several different people opted to give me the dollar donation here on Game Jolt. 21 people played it, but 67 people viewed it. Uh, only one person decided to rate it. So you can see that um, sometimes people, you know, they might look at it, they might play it, but slim chances that they'll bother to rate it. So I'm glad that uh, when people do that, then, I don't know, it helps me learn. Here's a little uh, sp speed model slash time lapse video from one of the live streams I did on Twitch where you can see me modeling the strip club. So if anyone decided that they wanted to use this low poly nightclub asset, uh, it does not have to be a strip club, but I wanted to make it, you know, usable in case anyone wanted to make a bar, some sort of like uh, bar scene or whatever. Yeah, so that's pretty much it, friends. This was just like in the middle of the production here. It looks a lot different now, of course, but yeah, so there's there that. And then I'll show you on Newgrounds, um, one of my other favorite sites. Last time I loaded a game that I made on both Newgrounds and Game Jolt was when I made my two Flash dress-up games all the way back in 2014. So since then I feel like I've learned a whole lot. And for one thing, I'm not using Flash anymore. I'm using Unity, of course. 777 views here on Newgrounds. And on this site, it's really cool to see people do actually leave more feedback. So we had like a handful of responses that I got to read and uh, reflect on and write back to the people that took the time to respond on there. So yeah, same thing. Um, and then of course it's on itch.io. So this is the other site that it's on. I hadn't ever loaded a game on here before so I feel like it's maybe a little bit less popular on this particular site. But yeah, it's really cool to see like the analytics and stuff but Anyway, friends, uh, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to finally share with you what I've been up to lately. Of course, I have a Patreon page where I've been uh, making updates more regularly and sharing the process with people that have uh, made it clear that they want to know what I'm up to. And uh, that's just uh, Jenny Nexus on Patreon. And of course, I'll leave links to where you can play this game or find the song that was in the game. I'll leave all that in the description box below and stuff. And of course my Twitch channel, where I actually stream almost every day now. So hopefully y'all uh, stay in touch, and I appreciate your watching the video and hopefully playing the game. 
And uh, in the future, I look forward to developing for also Android, mobile games, and also VR. Because you may or may not have noticed about a year ago, I did an unboxing video of the HTC Vive that we got. And my partner is working on his first VR game. And eventually I'll be doing the same. And when I get a new computer, hopefully then I'll be doing some more live streams of VR games as well. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!